What is up, guys? And of course, welcome to our Pokemon Wi Fi battle with your true course, the Scarinder. And today, I'm going up against an opponent from Twitter, which I actually call is Brian. And um, I will say this uh, he asked for a PU game, and we are seeing, well, a few PU really, but also a free and new. So that's kind of scary, actually. But I didn't really necessarily mind it because I don't necessarily feel that. NU and PU does differentiate themselves too much to be a separated for sure. PU is basically a worse than you, but not by much. So, having that said, we're seeing, of course, Shimenko. Um, I was gonna say Light Power. I always say Light Power, but it's a freaking power. Or Relicant, which is awesome. And then we have, of course, Primeape, super, super scary. Rapid Dash and Miss Magius. I'm using my, you know, copy paste PU team, basically, which is, of course, Stun Fist, because, my god, is that a decent stealth rocker. Uh, Tylex, so I'm you know, the sniper set really, and do, then we have a Buffalunt, Mr. Mime, Float Seal, and Scarfed Pignite, because Pignite super darn viable in PU, as a Scarf that is, obviously, because it hits really hard, has decent stab, and just in general, very, very tough mount to kill. And yeah, basically, with all that said, I am going to try to get my Rock Stab, so Stun Vizium obviously lead, and I pretty much hope he leads up with. Um, um, the prime age so I can get some static because I'm basically you know f f Going to hope for facts when it comes to stun fist. That's that's really the best I got so with that said of course guys, let's go So all right as I lead off here. I'm going to get a very very nasty realization He's gonna lead off with Miss Magius and the reason that's kind of a big deal is because Energy ball it kind of kills me uh, like super super kill me So all I hope is basically that I can pull up rocks and then anyway I don't want to switch him from his minions as he goes with will-o-wisp which potentially could mean that this is the Wally You know bit of a bulker set because one kind of tend to forgot that Miss Magius It's decently bulky to get it with heaven just in general very very scary moveset uh, He's gonna show me hex there which does you know plenty of HP really I do take it fairly But you know, it's not ideal but luckily, due to me realizing that it's probably a defensive set, I can stand against it going for Toxic because I need all the residual damage I can get on this guy because, like I said, can't necessarily hurt it all that well and Will-O-Wisp kind of cripples my team. But I'm going to decide to go to Float Seal, seeing that Will-O-Wisp is his choice of attacks and not T-Wave or anything like that. And I have, of course, a Water Whale, which does make me immune to, of course, the likes of uh, Will-O-Wisp. So anyway, he goes back there. Now it does even more. So Stun Fisk, hey, yay for that bolt, right? As I am just gonna go for a crunch here. I was hoping to kill it, but of course he has a cold barberry. So he's going to survive, you know, of course he will survive this. As um, he goes for a will-o-wisp, does forget actually about uh, the water whale. And I will say this, had he gone for hex, he would have knocked me out. So um, that was both good and bad at the same time. So obviously seeing that hex is his likely play here, I'm going to go with Buffalo and make the toxic kill him. So um I am a bit lucky here, I definitely are a bit lucky because I actually need Float Seal and I was so sure that the Crunch was going to be enough with Clear it wasn't with Culverberry in mind. So Miss Mage is gone and I was like, yay, yes, finally, as Grumpy Gill is gonna come in and I was so, you know, thinking this is going to be the Scarf, Rockhead, um, Head Smash, Relicans, I'm just going to waffle, pretty much fall right off as he goes for Toxics and I was like, hmm, alright. Probably a Stealth Rock set then, that's the only thing I can think of as he goes for an Aqua Tail and what do you know, before Waffle falls, he's of course gonna hit on with that static. My god, I hate Stumpfisk so much, but at the same time I can't help but loving it due to the hacks it actually enforces. It's uh, it's quite beautiful, honestly, and um, due to him being gone, I can just switch in Purple Rain, of course, being the female Mr. Mime as I go for an Energy Ball and just knock it out. So, yeah, awesome. That is really, really, really good. As um, he's actually, I was thinking he's probably gonna uh, send in uh, Rapid Ash since that is faster, but he's going to go to Pyroar, forgetting that I am a fairy type, as he will actually go for a Dark Pulse over Hyper Voice. And that is also extremely lucky, and obviously, an indication of some mods are simply very, very easily forgotten. As I go for Hidden Power Fighting, which will knock off the Life Part because of the definition and whatnot. Simply, it's an Aura Sphere, and it does hurt a lot. And uh, I get some momentum here, obviously, because life are gone. Super, super important. As Rapid Ash come in, there's really nothing I can do. And I'm just going to sack this guy. 
Um, so yeah, you know, poor me, really. Uh, but I really couldn't do anything about that. I don't have any switching for Rapidash. Who has switchings for Rapidash? That's that's impossible. That guy is so strong. As I just going to Selvaros, and basically I'm I'm freely here to go for a waterfall. Uh, as I of course didn't knock out the Rapidash. So you know, it was a moment of glory for Rapidash, but it was not going to last. As I probably should say, I was lucky that that wasn't Scarf. That would probably been really stupid of me thinking about it. But yeah, he's gonna go to Irate Ape, which of course is his Inferno Ape, and um, all I can do here is go for an Aqua Jet. Uh, like I said previously, I don't have any switching, I can't risk that really, as I get a lucky, lucky, lucky crit here, of course. And he's just gonna go for Earthquake, since it's overall the safer play, but I really had to take out Shard and Dark here, and thinking that it's very likely that he could be Scarf, so I'm just gonna go to Talex. If it's Bandit, then it's fine. If it isn't any of that, then I do outspeed. As he switches out, just basically enforce that I pretty much know that that has to be Scarf. As he goes to Chimenko, I am just gonna go for a safe return, as that will do a plethora of damage. And I say a plethora because that really, really, really stings. And this is actually without rivalry. This is like super luck set. As I go for a second one, is it super luck or is it sniper? Damn, I can't, I can't remember. But anyway, his last mon is of course Prime Ape, and he has to lock himself into Stone Edge. And if he's the Oli, then he actually aren't in rage of KO me. As he goes for Stone Edge, does connect it, but he is the Oli, which means that the return is enough to kill here. And I will say this: even if the hit would have knocked me out, I still would have had Pig Knight back here, which of course, um, due to my um, what do you call it? Due to my typing, I would not be in range of being Kato, and I wouldn't re be able to retaliate with a Flare Blitz, and that would have been wrapped up the game anyway, but that still was a very, very interesting last play, and I think that was the right call to make, in all honesty. So, yeah, I mean, this was a really quick game, honestly, and uh, I, I really liked it, because, you know, I get to fend off against higher ladder mons, like Miss Mage's Primer, definitely stand out as mons that are super tough to be dealing with, but uh, I think the synergy of my team did stand out, together with, of course, my opponent forgetting uh, both, this, of course, Water Wheel on Float Seal, which obviously did help a lot here, since Float Seal actually checked, of course, the likes of Rapidash and whatnot, and um, honestly, honest to God, that's super, it was super helpful uh, that he forgot that. And, of course, forgetting Mr. Mime, he would have been much safer going into... Um, uh, what do you call it? The, the Raptor from there on out. Now, I decided to sack him from, uh, Mr. Mime there since I actually knocked out the light part, but I could have switched in as, as much Pig Knight really due to Thick Fat as an ability that would basically force me to soak that hit. But I didn't do that, and basically because I didn't necessarily need to, I had the momentum and maneuverability to actually just play the sack game instead and try to be as offensive as I could really, and uh, that honestly honest got worked out. Now, I will give Brian you know, some credit here because I really like the team, I, I really like the places it was trying to make and force me to play at, but I simply could uh, keep being offensive due to the early mistakes that he made. Um, but yeah, outside of that, I'm, <laughs> I enjoy this game firmly. Uh, really nice team is Majors and his defensive set. One really, really has to um, remember that Miss Majors was an Ogumon in Generation 5, I do believe, and a very, very fundamental good one at that due to its spin blocking capabilities. Honestly, it lost that though due to defog and whatnot, but it still is as potent as ever, and it should not be a mon you, you know, dance around with too much because it's it's generally scary. Uh, same thing go with Rabbit Dash, really. Super low bulk, sure, but damn, that thing hits, and it hits hard. So, I really hope to do something with that mon for um, a Lola region here in the future. Because if anything, you know, they haven't really showcased. You know, if you're gonna ride them on, we've actually seen riding Southlands, riding uh, Tauros, but haven't seen riding Rapidash. So I, I have my feelings on this one. I, I really do. And I really hope we get to see something like that. Uh, but yeah, anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. As always, of course, I hope you enjoyed this battle. I know it was a quick one as previous one, but it's, it is what it is when you play a hyper offensively. It has a tendency to be over really fast if you do the right place. So with all that said, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I see you in the next video. Until then, take care.